Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Spyro, Year of the Dragon, for the Sony PlayStation 1, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I remember trying out this game like a year or so ago, and it's been a while since I actually did, like, well, a main Spyro game. As opposed to, like, well, the Spyro slash Crash spin-off game. Well, there was two of them. But anyways, we're going back to the main series. And this is the third of the trilogy. So, let's get to it. Also, you can actually uh, change your save file icon. We'll go with this one, I suppose. An evil plot unfolds. Yeah, this is the how the actual game looks when it's loading these cutscenes. Who needs a bed when you got the ground? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get ourselves some quiche right now. Don't wear your eggs for a hat. Come on now. Uh, I'll pick up the one easily over there. Oh, uh, dude, you were looking right at her and did nothing. Oh, Hunter, you failed. <laughs> A powerful villain emerges. Didn't seem that powerful because she tripped over things. We managed to capture the eggs, Your Highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. A desperate rescue begins. Just for that guy, not the eggs, of course. <laughs> Give it up, Billy's dead. <laughs> Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! They weren't kidding. <laughs> Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. The adventure begins. All right, let's get to it. In fact, it's so important it's all in uppercase letters. And yellow text. I don't know why you're so slow. Alright, so you use like the analog stick to move, well, in my case it's the D-pad. Circle does your flame breath, square is your charge attack, you can press X to jump, X again to glide, you can press triangle to get like a first person view, and uh, while you're gliding you can press triangle to give yourself a little extra space to jump up. I will be trying to get everything in this game, including like the skill points. The skill points are just like extra achievements, which I'll go over in a moment. Over here, you find a butterfly that gives you an extra life. So do your best to like find these because, well, there is a chance you might die sometimes. You can press pause to go to your menu or you can press select to go straight to your atlas. The atlas will just tell you like uh, what eggs there are, how many gems you found, and I think that's it. Press triangle to go back. We're only at Sunrise Spring Home, which is basically the hub for this world. And uh, there are other levels, which we'll deal with later. You can use like L2 and R2 to rotate the camera. R1 allows you to go have the camera behind you. And I guess uh, L1 does as well. Ah, here is Isabel. Oh, can't even fly. 
But you can teleport, though. Which is pretty cool, I guess. A lot of people will say they would rather teleport than fly. I mean, yeah, instant transmission would be great if you want to, like, cut time. But flying is where it's at. Hi, Spyro. To look left or right, press the L... Nah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I've already explained this. I don't think I really need to have pointers for a tutorial. Why isn't the NCAT here? Why is he invisible? So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, Dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. Uh, I don't really like you already. I find it weird that whenever she, like, sticks her head a certain way, you can see a mole below her right eye. And then other times you can't see it at all. So I'm guessing that's just a texture issue rather than, like, an actual facial expression. Alright, that over there is money bags, and yeah, you'll be needing a lot of gems to uh, get some cool stuff. Stuff that he does not give you for free because he's a bit of a douche. You know what they say, the love of money is indeed the root of all evil. These, uh, vases over there, you cannot do anything with them with your flamethrower. You have to use a charge attack. Yo, Spyro! I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world. But you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know about that. Just follow you. If I must. I'd rather get the other stuff over here. These here uh, pots, you can pretty much just destroy with any attack. And if you don't, like, get over to where he wants you to go, he'll just go back to where he was. Because he's a bit of a dink. But at least he tries to help out. So he's the good kind of dink. Rather than Bianca style dink or Moneybags dink. There are very different classifications. One is just, well, working for evil, and the other one is just obsessed with money. I don't know, I guess they're both the same. I mean, I can't really blame him for being obsessed with money. Nowadays, you pretty much need it to make sure you don't die. I mean, food ain't free. Unless you want to dive into the trash all day. And if you're on DeviantArt, I mean, you're already diving into trash as is. hey -o! Hi. I'm late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. That is very weird how a portal is linked to the uh, eggs of dragons. Your game camera is currently in... In passive mode? Yeah, I want to keep it that way. Camera moves much faster if it's in active mode. I think I'm going to pass. But I can go back to her if I want to change it. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the square button when you're on the surface, and charge underwater by holding down the square button. Hunter, you're useless. I mean, seriously, get yourself like a diving suit if, you're, if you care so much about your fur. Anyways, here's Bruce. I mean, this baby dragon doesn't mind being underwater. He can handle it. You can't use your flame breath underwater, obviously, because that would just be weird. But anyways, uh, I have to center myself because, well, it's annoying. Hold the X button if you want to, like, swim normally. And then hold square if you want to go super fast, Xanax style. Only difference is, you can actually stay in underwater for a longer period of time and not have to worry about that uh, music that uh, spells your doom. But uh, I think that's everything in the lake. Let me do another, uh, you know, like, summary uh, search. And uh, we'll get the rest of these gems over here. 
I think we should be able to get all 400 gems at this juncture. And I'll try to get all the eggs as well, because I will be needing them for, like, completion. Oh, I need 20 eggs to get through this portal. Oh, it's gonna be a while before we go that way, then. But, uh, yeah, we can go this way. There's a sign there for sparks. Try and interact with that now. Spyro, I got a special tax task for Sparks. Meet me back here later, Zoe. But I want to meet you now. Also, I met you twice, and you're in different areas. Because that's how the game works. Sometimes you can't be in two places at once. It's like that movie I'll walk to remember all over again. Like that scene where she stood on the state line, and was technically in two places at once. I mean, I can't really say that. I mean, technically you could, but it just feels weird. Hi. Here I was, about to go for a nice swim at Shell Beach, and my portal just disappeared right in front of me. If you go find some more of those dragon eggs, I bet this portal will turn on again. Okay, 14 eggs to go to that place. Alright, well, I'll be on the lookout for that then. I guess I'm going through this side now. How the hell did Hunter... Whoa! His feet clipped through the ground! I don't know if you saw that a few seconds ago, but, uh, that's what I saw. To get the best <sighs> Do I really need to talk to you again? I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Yeah, yeah, that's talking about the hovering. Which I've already demonstrated. Just pick up that stuff around Cloud Spires. We're not gonna go there yet. But, uh, we'll go here. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. How the hell did you hold this, anyway? So here's Coltrane. The names don't really mean anything. They're just there for naming purposes, I guess. If that's your shtick. This is a super fly power-up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Awesome! It does not last forever, though, so uh, make good use of it whenever you need to. But first, I'm just going to grab all these gems, and then I'll go back to the gate. The fly allows you to actually go upward if you have that ability active. Sometimes you will be needing it. Well, in this case, it'll be to get out of here. Am I almost at, like, all the gems? Oh, no. I'm missing one. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. This is gonna be painful. Guess what we gotta do? Oh, I can actually get out through this uh, air vent over there that. If I can just fly through here. Oh, apparently I can do that. Here's Amy. Or Ami. Sometimes you can say it like that as well. But, uh... We're missing one gem! Where is it, then? Remember in Spyro 2 when you can just like hold like a L1, R1, L2, and R2 at the same time for sparks to track gems? You can't do it in this game. Unfortunately. I'm pretty sure that was a thing in Spyro 2, but not in other Spyro games that I can think of. Anyway, let's just go pay money bags. Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the Kangaroo locked up. 
<laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. In other words, like three quarters of the gems you found here? Okay. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. No hard feelings. All right, Sheila is going to be one of your animal buddies that you'll actually get to play as shortly. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, name's Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Um, I have a little bit of damage control on my own in trying to uh, get the last gem in this place. And sadly, it's just the one gem that I need to find. Alright, Sheila's Alp is a new level. Oh, why does I interact with this? I can't, actually. Maybe it just means that if you go through this level, you'll actually be playing as Sheila. Which will be pretty cool. I'll definitely be doing that. Well, technically I have to play all the levels, but, you know. Um, still need to find that one gem, though. Did I look around this way? Like, I know I went everywhere in the water. Is it behind this place? No? Okay. Oh, 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 I see it, I see it, it's right here. Oh, I thought I grabbed everything in this area. I did not. Okay, there is still one thing I'm missing, though. And that's one of the eggs. Wait, head bash the rock? Why would I want to head bash Dwayne Johnson? He seems like a nice guy. Wait a minute, this, this egg is... This rock is cracked. Okay. Liam. Oh, what are you crying about? I destroyed your favorite rock? I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot these uh, sheep over there. If you torch them, as well as certain other animals, you can get yourself a butterfly that gives you more health for sparks. Sparks is basically your health meter, in case you don't know. I mean, not everyone's played a Spyro game, and I highly recommend they do. It's, it's a really good series. But, uh, I think I'm going to stop here, and in the next episode, we'll be going... Yeah, we'll be going to this level, Sunny Villa. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.